what is the first thing you think of when you hear the word water? The beach? Down the islands? As a twin island nation, Trinidad and Tobago is surrounded by water. But we're much more than just sand and sea. Yet, water is doing great things for us. How? The growing yachting industry. It's not just a matter of a few small pre-orgs and pleasure craft. It's a major business which the Ministry of Trade and Industry has identified as a key area for expansion. The local yachting sector began its expansion during the mid-90s when international boating enthusiasts discovered the beauty and the benefits of mooring and storing their boats in Trinidad. Located on the island's northwest peninsula, Chagaramas is comprised of acres of beautiful countryside with picturesque natural harbors protected by mountainous slopes. Boat owners who cruise the Caribbean found their boats in peril during the hurricane season. And if they wanted to berth their boats in the Caribbean, the insurance, because of hurricanes, was high. Located outside of the hurricane belt, Trinidad was a safe port in a storm. And it was soon discovered that Chagaramas also had artisans available in every trade to work on their boats. Tobago also had its unique appeal. While Trinidad built its strong reputation in repairs and storage, Tobago became known as an excellent short-term cruising destination that was great for leisure. The yachting industry is quite a mature industry now. One of the big advantages that Trinidad and Tobago has with the yachting industry is we have so many um, onshore activities, like we have uh, ecotourism, we have a diverse range of, of bird species. A lot of, uh, we have things like the Pitch Lake, there's a lot of not just sand and sun like a lot of the countries offer, but we really have a lot more to offer than that, which we really need to promote. And um, that combined with um, our festivals like Carnival and, and some of the religious festivals, the, the foreign yachts are always involved, they always enjoy that type of thing. And we need to link these two together, and that will really assist in the growth of the industry. I can't believe what I hear in here. You knew this thing was, was so big? We have 12 top-of-the-line marina facilities, which can house nearly 900 visiting yachts. And that's not even counting our local vessels. Eh? Our yachting industry employs nearly 1,500 people and earns millions of US dollars. And the industry is growing worldwide. People are retiring earlier. And what do they do? Live their dream by spending time on a yacht in the Caribbean. Just like the massive sails that are hoisted into the breeze, the yachting industry has an expansive reach, extending to yachting tourists, marinas and boatyards, equipment supply shops, boat repair, special events like sailing regattas and sports fishing competitions, and a spin-off of related services such as taxis, banks, supermarkets, and ICT. With the growth of the industry has come specialization. Trinidad and Tobago is producing experts in the areas of boat building, engine repair, sail making, welding and woodworking, just to name a few. The Ministry of Trade and Industry sees opportunities not only for an increase in employment and a demand for skilled labour, but also for innumerable spin-off benefits for Trinbegonians in the areas of tourism, leisure, tours and events. So Cassels was started in the mid-1990s when um, the yachties so to speak, the boat people started coming to Trinidad. Um, started as a result of being, Trinidad being mostly a power boat nation with a few sailboats. Um, but all of a sudden, with the big influx of sailboats, they had need a specialized work to the sail repairs and the specialized marine canvas, and also to the standard stuff like upholstery. If they are talented upholsterers in this country, they just have to change a little bit into the marine way of things and thinking and the materials that you use. Every boat is a different boat. It's custom built stuff. It's not that you can make factory, make a hundred and keep them in stock to sell. Every boat is different. I mean, if you look around, you can see. So every everything has to be built custom. The range of services provided in a small geographic space and a reasonable cost offers a definite competitive advantage, ideal for attracting the level of tourism that will make our economy even more buoyant. So, Cabinet has appointed the Yachting Steering Committee to work on implementing various strategies for the further development of the industry, including a single harmonized immigration form, increased marketing activities, and more up-to-date statistics on the industry. Well, it's been great. I, I, I was here first when Peaks first opened, and we've been coming every year since. And there's a lot of reasons. It's hurricane-proof, and uh, they've got everything here, big supermarkets, 
Got the food and the people are really friendly. The labour's good and intense, you know, they work. People from Trinidad like to work. And that's what we need on a boat, you know, we need it done. Investment opportunities abound. While Trinidad and Tobago has been discovered as a yachting and boat repair destination, there is still a lot of room for sophisticated, environmentally friendly developments. In fact, the San Fernando and Port of Spain waterfront developments have provision for marina facilities in their designs. The Yachting Steering Committee is determined to ensure that the proposals put forward in the industry's strategic plan are implemented, which means two things. Trinidad and Tobago will become the first choice for yacht repair services in the region, as well as a must-see destination when cruising the Caribbean. And as far as I see, that wouldn't be too hard to accomplish.